China takes out a loan for a $120,000 house, carries a loan of 4.75%. Compound MLZ for 30 years. So part A, how much is our monthly mortgage payment? How do we figure this out? Rhymes with commortization. Amortization, very good. Let's set this up. So your PMT, your payment, will equal to, what's your PV? Good. R? Good. N? Careful. 12. That's okay. Don't ever worry about giving a wrong answer. I would rather be wrong in class than on a test. So no worries. Over 1 minus parentheses 1 plus R over N raised to the negative 12 times, and this is a 30-year loan, which that means that X1 would be negative 360. So once you do enough of these, you'll start to realize that your answer is reasonable. So this is not a very high amount for the loan. This is not a very high interest rate. So if Jenna's paying 3000 a month, that's not right. Something's not right there. I got 625.98. Well, that's not a six. Uh, now it is. All right. I totally could have left you more room in part A, so I apologize. That's okay. Part B, to compute how much goes towards principal and how much goes towards interest, we actually find how much goes towards interest and then subtract to get how much goes towards principal. Since this is just for one period, just like we did for average day balance, to figure out the interest amount, we use our friend I equals PRT. Remember, all of these formulas are just repeated in, uh, simple interest over and over and over again. The P for this problem is 120,000. The R for this problem is 0 0.0475. What's the T? Why? Huh? Yeah. And this, this rate is an annual rate. Very good. So just like before, since it's an annual, we need to have our T to be 1 12. So for the first month's payment, I got 475. Can anyone confirm that? Okay. So let the moaning begin, $475 of your payment went towards interest. Your payment was $625.98. So to figure out how much went towards principal, we would do $625.98 minus $475. One fifty ninety eight. So, almost three times the amount, or I should say it this way, 75% of your payment was going right to the bank to say thank you for the loan, and then the other 25% was you actually paying off your loan. So when we saw that Barbara and William problem, and after eight years they only paid 20000 when in actuality their payments were much more than 20000 it was because the majority of your payments go towards the interest than the principal. In fact, in the next example, which is just a continuation of this one, what we do is form a amortization uh, table.